Hi, in this video we're going to look at using PHP MyAdmin to create a table for an existing database. So the PHP MyAdmin program is usually provided by your web host, so you'll need to find out through your hosting server provider uh, how to access it. This also is assuming that your database has already been created on your host account and you already have the username and password to log in. So at this point I'm starting from that background and I'm going to log in with my username and password. Okay, so once you're logged in, we'll just take a look at some of the features available in here. Along the left hand side, you should find your database name. And at the bottom part of the screen is the console. So if you like to and prefer to work with the console, you can uh, click on that in order to type in your commands. There's also an SQL tab up here that you can go into and uh, type in and execute your SQL queries from here. Now to create our table we're going to go to databases and then click on your database name. And it says no tables found in database. So generally when you create a database, it just creates the database with no content in it. So we're going to set this up for a simple contacts database. So I'm just going to, or table in my database. So I'm just going to create a contacts table in my database where we'll be able to just keep track of names and emails and phone numbers. So let's call it contacts and we'll start out with five fields which would be five columns and then click go. And so here is where we set up our field names. So I'm going to start out the first field I'm going to call ID and that's going to be our primary key, uh, our unique identifier. And I'm going to leave it as an integer. And uh, just going to come over here to the column under A underscore I. Now in some versions of PHP My Admin, it might have a column that says extra under it. Uh, so this is a slightly different version. It's the, a newer version of PHP My Admin. So we're going to check off the AI box for auto increment. And what auto increment will do is each time a new record is added, it'll automatically add one to a number value here. So we're going to also leave it as the primary key. And I'm just going to leave the default information in here and click go. Uh, the next field is going to be email. So when you're naming your fields, these are also going to be names of fields that you'll use in your SQL commands in your PHP code. So uh, I recommend keeping them descriptive and uh, short. If Don't put any spaces in if you need to have a space, maybe an underscore in there, or you can uh, use camel case. But in my case, I'm just going to keep it short. So I'm just going to call it email. And the type, this is the data type of information that's in there. And you can see there's a lot of different choices in here. But for variable text, letters, numbers, other characters, we can just use the var char. And we have to specify a length. So I'm going to go with 35, maximum of 35 characters. And basically the same thing for my other fields. I'm going to have first for first name, 
variable characters, 35. Uh, last, I'll use variable characters. I'll go with 50, maybe for last name. And then phone. And even though the phone number will have numbers in it, I'm still going to use a var char because numbers would be if you want to do math calculations or you want to check to see if something's greater than or less than a number and really it's just numbers for a phone so uh, we'll you just use that as our data type. So now that we've got all of this set up I'm gonna click the Save button and we can see the table has been created we have the details for each of the fields and the data type and we can see the little key symbol here showing that our ID is primary key and it's going to auto increment now if you need to make a change you can come in and you know, click the little pencil tool for changing. Drop would delete. So um, if we had data in here already for a number of records and we drop it, that's going to delete the field So and all the data that's in there. So you want to be careful about using drop. So that's a quick video on using PHPMyAdmin to create a simple table in your database.